Now let's go and create our first event. Now events are made by pressing down in one of these empty spaces here. For example, here, if I go to the base track here and I click, I have now made my first event. So what you're seeing here is number one, that's saying it's going to launch the clip that is in the first scene on this track here. And it is going to last for one bar. Up here will show you the length of the event. Now, if you would like to delete that event, you simply click, press backspace. If you'd like the event to go on for longer, you click and drag to the right. Say for example, and that says one, and that's going on for four bars. And I have some transport controls down here. Now, if I press play, watch what happens. It plays this clip for four bars and then it will stop it. So now you're probably thinking, yeah, nothing new, but then we can go here and we can, we can choose clips from different scenes, a bit like follow on actions. To create an event on a different scene, say here I want this clip, which is on scene two to come in. I go into live and I select scene two. Now, if you look up here, scene two is selected. I now click and drag, it creates an event on scene two and so forth. If I want to do it on scene three, scene four, scene five, etc. So if I press play now, it's going to play the first scene for four bars then the second scene for five bars. There we go. And then it'll stop.